So I want to discuss some of these really interesting correlations uh, that you talk about. So one of them, I think rigidity is quite intuitive for people to understand, right? even if they don't understand it as a psychological uh, con concept. They understand what it means for someone to be not be flexible in their thought and why that would be highly, uh, hi highly correlate with being dogmatic. It's almost uh, a tautology. But you also write about uh, the relationship between impulsivity and ideological thinking. Can you unpack that for us? Oh, so in my research, like you mentioned, we I've, I've done some research that's theory driven, where we think really carefully about, for instance, the relationship between people's cognitive rigidity and their ideological rigidity, and what it means to test neuropsychological rigidity and think about how that relates to rigidity in political life. Um, other research has been more data driven, where rather than me testing the hypotheses that I have, I've kind of collected really rich data sets and then let the data speak for themselves, uh, which is a really fascinating process. And there are often ways in which the theory driven and data driven research come together and can inform each other. So it's really fascinating. One of the findings that we have is that individuals who are more dogmatic and also more prone to uh, kind of ide supporting ideological violence, report being more impulsive. Um, and that's really interesting. What that means is that they um, kind of struggle to control emotional impulses. And so they, they tend to kind of make premature uh, behaviors and premature decisions. Where I think that comes into play in really interesting ways is how that comes together with a cognitive profile that we see let's say of dogmatism, where we find that dogmatic people are impulsive. So they're making these kind of rapid, they have a kind of impulsive personality and they're making rapid decisions. But at the same time, we find that the way in which their minds are processing perceptual evidence from the environment has all sorts of impairments. They're actually slower to process evidence as it's coming in from the environment. So when we pair that up with impulsivity, we see that dogmatic individuals tend to be impulsive and fast when they're making decisions, but actually the way that their brain is tying together evidence from the environment is slower. So that helps us to start understand what it is that makes a mind dogmatic. It could be that really it's a mind that struggles, that's slower to process and intertwine sensory evidence, but it's also more impulsive. So that's why a lot of those decisions are imperfect and dogmatic. Yeah, this, this is really interesting because I think you, you also talk about the relationship between low-level perception and rigid, ideological, um, dogmatic thinking, and really interesting experiments where, well, I'll, I'll let you describe them, where you, where you take um, tests that aren't to do with explicit you know, political stimuli. That's right. So the, the tasks that we give are from the neuropsychological literature. There are ones where you sit in front of a screen and you see visual shapes moving around. Um, a lot of them are what we call perceptual decision-making tasks. So let's say you see a group of dots on the screen and you need to determine whether the dots are moving to the left or whether they're moving to the right. And, and that's all that you have to do as a participant. But from that, we can extract a lot about how your mind is learning, how fast you are figuring out the evidence from these kinds of perceptual tasks. And we can understand your learning, we can understand your perception, we can understand people's cognitive style from that. And so these tasks are really not political, but what we're finding is that people's performance on these tasks really echoes in a lot of ways their ideological worldviews and ideological dogmatism. So that's fascinating because it starts to suggest that there are these relationships, these links between low level perception and higher level ideological attitudes. You can click here to watch the full interview, or you can listen to it on all the major podcasting platforms. The links are down below, or you can just search for Ideas Sleep Furiously. Thank you.